Egzamin ósmoklasisty z języka angielskiego. Usłyszysz dwukrotnie teksty do zadań od pierwszego do czwartego. Przed wysłuchaniem każdego tekstu usłyszysz dźwięk. W nagraniu przewidziane są przerwy na zapoznanie się z poleceniami oraz treścią zadań sygnalizowane dźwiękiem. Rozwiązuj poszczególne zadania w trakcie słuchania nagrań oraz w czasie przerw po ich wysłuchaniu. Zadanie pierwsze. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Tekst pierwszy. Sally, have you chosen your after-school activity for this year? Not yet. How about making a decision together? Good idea. What do you suggest? Anything you like, but not the fashion design course. I don't think it's for me. What about the art club? We both like painting. I went there last year and it wasn't much fun. Let me think. I know I'm really into movies and so are you. We can go to the filmmaking club together. That sounds interesting. Let's do that then. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Sally, have you chosen your after-school activity for this year? Not yet. How about making a decision together? Good idea. What do you suggest? Anything you like, but not the fashion design course. I don't think it's for me. What about the art club? We both like painting. I went there last year and it wasn't much fun. Let me think. I know I'm really into movies, and so are you. We can go to the filmmaking club together. That sounds interesting. Let's do that then. Text drugi. This is my favorite family photo. The man in the army uniform is my grandfather, William, my mother's father. The little boy that he's holding is my uncle Jack. My grandmother took the photo, so you can't see her in the picture. Uncle Jack was their only son at that time, because my mother and her twin brother were born three years later. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. This is my favorite family photo. The man in the army uniform is my grandfather, William, my mother's father. The little boy that he's holding is my uncle Jack. My grandmother took the photo, so you can't see her in the picture. Uncle Jack was their only son at that time, because my mother and her twin brother were born three years later. Text trzeci. Lucy, I think your teacher is already waiting for you in the car park in front of the school and you aren't ready yet. Don't worry, Dad. We still have some time. If you're late, the bus will go without you. It's eight o'clock. Hurry up. What? Eight o'clock? All right, then. I'll just brush my teeth and we can go. Anyway, I'll call Monica and ask her to choose seats for us. She's always on time.
Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Lucy, I think your teacher is already waiting for you in the car park in front of the school and you aren't ready yet. Don't worry, Dad. We still have some time. If you're late, the bus will go without you. It's eight o'clock. Hurry up. What? Eight o'clock? All right, then. I'll just brush my teeth and we can go. Anyway, I'll call Monica and ask her to choose seats for us. She's always on time. Tekst czwarty. Wow, it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, seeing the tricks live was so exciting. What a pity we weren't allowed to film them on our mobile phones. Which was your favourite trick? The one with the piano. It just completely changed colour from black to red. How did he do that? I have no idea. But for me, the tricks with the cards and coins were the best. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Wow, it was amazing, wasn't it? Yeah, seeing the tricks live was so exciting. What a pity we weren't allowed to film them on our mobile phones. Which was your favourite trick? The one with the piano. It just completely changed colour from black to red. How did he do that? I have no idea. But for me, the tricks with the cards and coins were the best. Tekst piąty. Kate, your room looks really nice. Thanks, Andy. But I don't like my sofa. It's not comfortable and the colour is awful. If you want my opinion, it isn't so bad, really. But you can put a blanket and some colourful cushions on it. Then it will look even nicer. Maybe you're right. I should do that. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Kate, your room looks really nice. Thanks, Andy. But I don't like my sofa. It's not comfortable and the colour is awful. If you want my opinion, it isn't so bad, really. But you can put a blanket and some colourful cushions on it. Then it will look even nicer. Maybe you're right. I should do that. Zadanie drugie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Wypowiedź pierwsza. I was standing on a crowded platform waiting for my train. Then I noticed a little boy. He was crying because he couldn't find his parents. I told him not to worry and that I'd stay with him and wait for them. As it was a bit cold, I gave him my scarf. Soon I saw a man pushing his way towards us. It was the boy's father. He thanked me for looking after his son. Wypowiedź druga. It was a beautiful summer day and I was going to Krakow. I hoped to have a pleasant journey, but I didn't. 
The weather was very hot, but inside the train the temperature was really low because the air conditioning was on. I was wearing a t-shirt and shorts, and I didn't have any warm clothes with me. The next day I woke up with a sore throat and a runny nose. Wypowiedź trzecia. Once, my father and I were travelling by train. We were so tired that we both fell asleep. When my dad woke up, he looked out of the window and shouted, Oh no, we've missed our stop. We had to get off at the next station. We decided to go home by bus. We got there at 7 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. Wypowiedź czwarta. I was only six then, but I remember my first train trip very well. My mum planned it very carefully, and I was so excited. I was allowed to buy the tickets by myself, and the woman at the ticket office at the station was very helpful. The train went really fast, and I liked the views from the window a lot. Now I love travelling by train. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Wypowiedź pierwsza. I was standing on a crowded platform waiting for my train. Then I noticed a little boy. He was crying because he couldn't find his parents. I told him not to worry and that I'd stay with him and wait for them. As it was a bit cold, I gave him my scarf. Soon I saw a man pushing his way towards us. It was the boy's father. He thanked me for looking after his son. Wypowiedź druga. It was a beautiful summer day and I was going to Krakow. I hoped to have a pleasant journey, but I didn't. The weather was very hot, but inside the train the temperature was really low because the air conditioning was on. I was wearing a t-shirt and shorts, and I didn't have any warm clothes with me. The next day I woke up with a sore throat and a runny nose. Wypowiedź trzecia. Once... My father and I were travelling by train. We were so tired that we both fell asleep. When my dad woke up, he looked out of the window and shouted, Oh no, we've missed our stop. We had to get off at the next station. We decided to go home by bus. We got there at 7 p.m. instead of 6 p.m. Wypowiedź czwarta. I was only six then, but I remember my first train trip very well. My mum planned it very carefully, and I was so excited. I was allowed to buy the tickets by myself, and the woman at the ticket office at the station was very helpful. The train went really fast, and I liked the views from the window a lot. Now I love travelling by train. Zadanie trzecie. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania.
Hello, Kate. You're the youngest female passenger plane captain in the world. What's that like? How does it feel? I'm just happy to have a job that I love. Did you do your pilot's course in Scotland? I've heard there's a good school there. Actually, in Scotland, there are only courses for the pilots of small private planes. The best school for passenger plane pilots is in New Zealand. But it was too expensive for me, and the cost of getting there was really high. So I chose the one in Italy. I did my course and passed my final exams there. Was the training hard for you? Yes and no. I really liked the flight simulators. I had a lot of exams, but they were not a problem for me. I just love tests. The worst part was that every week we had to go on a 10 kilometer run. I like exercising in general, but I hate running. How many countries have you flown to since you got your pilot's license? I count airports, not countries. I've got a map on which I mark the airports I've flown to. I've been to 67 so far. Next year, I'm going to start flying to China, which means that I'll add at least another 10 airports to my list. Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Hello, Kate. You're the youngest female passenger plane captain in the world. What's that like? How does it feel? I'm just happy to have a job that I love. Did you do your pilot's course in Scotland? I've heard there's a good school there. Actually, in Scotland, there are only courses for the pilots of small private planes. The best school for passenger plane pilots is in New Zealand. But it was too expensive for me, and the cost of getting there was really high. So I chose the one in Italy. I did my course and passed my final exams there. Was the training hard for you? Yes and no. I really liked the flight simulators. I had a lot of exams, but they were not a problem for me. I just love tests. The worst part was that every week we had to go on a 10 kilometer run. I like exercising in general, but I hate running. How many countries have you flown to since you got your pilot's license? I count airports, not countries. I've got a map on which I mark the airports I've flown to. I've been to 67 so far. Next year, I'm going to start flying to China, which means that I'll add at least another 10 airports to my list. Zadanie czwarte. Przeczytaj polecenie i zapoznaj się z treścią zadania. Wypowiedź pierwsza. Did you buy the cat food? Wypowiedź druga. How do you teach a dog to do tricks?
Wypowiedź trzecia. What kind of pet would you prefer? Wypowiedź czwarta. Are dogs allowed in this restaurant? Wysłuchaj nagrania jeszcze raz. Wypowiedź pierwsza. Did you buy the cat food? Wypowiedź druga. How do you teach a dog to do tricks? Wypowiedź trzecia. What kind of pet would you prefer? Wypowiedź czwarta. Are dogs allowed in this restaurant? Czas przeznaczony na tę część egzaminu minął.